Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bang, bang. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, man. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Just shoot, scoop my chair up a little bit, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. That's what's up. We're back, baby. I sit back in, back in black, baby. Yep, that was the 281 of the Super Mega Cast. Oof. I'm yeah. sitting across from co host Matthew Watson. Thank you, man. I'm sitting across from co host Ryan McGee. Yep. You know? You boys. Uh, I said we're back in black because we're both wearing the same black hoodie. Very good quality hoodie made by uh, what? What? Who? Who is this made uh, by? Super Mega Productions oh. Incorporated. Okay, okay, okay. Are these these aren't released yet though, right? They are. Yeah. Are they? Mm -hmm. So like people can go buy these right now. Yeah, they're hmm. it's the future Mega one. I'm I'm not like I'm not trying to start the podcast by shilling, but it's it it. We got them today for the first time, and they're... We're YouTubers, baby. Fuck, they feel good. They're Sh soft. YouTubers got a YouTube, you know? Hey, hey, hey! YouTubers got a YouTube, dude. Dude. I'm going to start a whole uh, channel about how to become a successful YouTuber. I would love to watch that. <laughs> hey, man, remember, remember when Super Mega didn't chill out their merch every five seconds? I, Pepperidge Farms remembers. <laughs> I'll, wear, I'll wear sunglasses indoors and shit. I'll have some ice around my neck. You put a lot of grease in your some hair. Some green stains on my chest. <laughs> What well, why the green stains from the fake gold? Oh, <laughs> like from the from the fuck like all like your neck is is it's clear you haven't showered in a yeah. while because the your neck is just completely green and all your fingers are green from like fake <laughs> the rings. rings. I've done. I is it happening to me right now? Actually, so I got this ring at a thrift you a store. Green thumb. Well, I got this ring at a thrift store last week and it was twelve bucks. So like I know it's not. What's the I, design on it? Well, it's just a silver. No, it was just the lighting. I thought for a second maybe there was there was some green, but is it just it's just a silver ring? It's just a silver ring that's kind of in like a curvy shape, but I can already see it's kind of getting dull. So, I mean, it's a, it was twelve bucks, it, and I got it at a thrift store, like from a little bowl. Age stuff is a is a is an aesthetic, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, this is this was probably made two months ago in China. But but I could say like oh actually this is my mom's from the sixties. See, it's like. It's give all it, what you make. It. Give it one more week and it'll be aged looking enough where I can say it's antique. It could be the most special ring in your life and you don't even know it yet. It could save your life from a bullet. It could, man. Well, that that that, that would mean that the bullet would be hitting my, my ring finger and blasting off my ring finger, which I guess you could die from that. Yeah. You'd, you'd very slowly bleed out. Do you think people have died from like losing a pinky and they just bleed out from that? If they're... Because there's no, like, artery there, More but... so of infection. Yeah. That's, Dude, I think. that's what sucks about olden times, is, like, you get, like, the fucking... Flu. You stub your toe, and, and, and it gets, like, infected, like, a regular, like, infection that everyone gets, like, at least a couple times in their life, like, staph infections, and you're dead. Or, like, you, you like, you know, you're walking around, and then your, your cheap, shitty shoes, you know, so a, a sharp rock kind of cuts through it, cuts your foot. You're not going to be walking on that thing for a bit. No, because that Maybe shit gets never infected. Again. Dun, 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 that shit gets dun. infected. They gotta cut it off, or you're just gonna die. <sighs> Crazy. You, know? you could, could you the... imagine being a pilgrim, dude? Being Couldn't a pilgrim be would fucking suck. Especially the fuck pilgrims, man. Honestly, what have they ever done? No, fuck them. They judge everyone else for their technology. They're jealous. They are jealous. They have to use their fucking stupid horses. They came and they fucking eradicated a beautiful culture of Native Americans. They're that's cross-eyed, cool. gum-smacking horses. Like, like, Ugh, like, stupid fucking fucking stallion. shooting their boomsticks off and fucking oh, it's too the corn won't grow. It's too cold. Yeah, dumbass. That's you should have gone to Florida, not fucking Plymouth. Like. Like, it's fucking, like, two degrees up there. You think you're gonna start the new world up there in a fucking icy hellscape? No way, no, no how. Of course you all died. Should have gone down to fucking Myrtle Beach and, and, and started America there. Go to Dick's at Myrtle Beach. And then after that, Dick's visit, Crab a Shack? Wa vi vi yeah. Yeah. visit a wave surf shop. Woo! And then do some mini golf, because there's a lot no, of mini golf. No, that's Dave's Crab Shack. I, I said Dick's. No, 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 Dick's, cr Dick's Crab Shack is... I thought there was Dave's Crab Shack. I don't know about Dave's, but Dick's is where they're mean to you. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. We're talking about the same I'm thing. I'm just talking about the unbelievably excessive amount of mini golf in Myrtle Beach. A lot. It's like it's every great. every three establishments is mini golf, which I, next time we're in South Carolina, we should go to a Myrtle Beach vlog. I have a, a very particular putt-putt place that I have such a huge nostalgic pull to in Myrtle Beach. It's like this, like, like, it's not Jurassic Park, but it kind of feels like that. It's like Jurassic Golf or some shit like that, probably. And there was this, like, big, thick T-Rex that would come out of this 
cliff or this hole or whatever. And it was scary and big, and it's I ran away from it the first time. I want to say that like maybe I've been there, but also it's like it's been so long, and I've played a lot of mini golf there, and I remember a lot of cool gimmicks like castle Broadway and stuff. the beach in, Mer- in Myrtle Beach, where the dragon comes out of the castle, uh, and sp- spits fire. I was a kid, I think. Uh, Last time I went was feed the ducks with the little turnstile food pellet machines. I think my cousin's parents were like getting divorced, so they they sent us all on like a day trip to Myrtle Beach with some friends. They have a Hard Rock Cafe in the shape they do. of a pyramid. Wow, Danny Saxbang is gonna play the Hard Rock Cafe at Myrtle Beach. They have the upside down Ripley's Believe It or Not. Museum. I have been there. I have been there. There's the there's like the hallway where it yep. feels like you're you're rotating, but it's really just the walls. They and also have like a sick go kart place in Myrtle Beach. It's pretty big. They got it all there, man. Yeah. They got a lot of, uh, but f- Myrtle Beach is gross though. One of the highest murder rates and one of the high, I'm pretty sure one of the highest like opiate deaths. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Uh, it's Myrtle Beach. Probably, there was someone trying, there was, I can't remember who, there was someone trying to tell me that Myrtle Beach is awesome. And I was like, what? In what world? <laughs> Myrtle Beach, <laughs> Myrtle Beach sucks. I, uh, I was talking, so I went on, a uh, Leighton and, and Brian. Uh, Dream Daddy Layton, female Layton. Yeah. I went on their podcast and, and they brought up Myrtle Beach and I talked about Myrtle Beach a little bit recently. But I was like, just go on like Google search Myrtle Beach and then just click the news tab. <laughs> yeah. And then you just scroll down and you're just going to hear one day ago, 22 year old uh, woman charged in fatal Myrtle Beach shooting. Uh, one day ago, 11 units damaged, two destroyed after three fire, three alarm fire at Ocean Lakes Campground in Myrtle Beach. It's always just like some fucking. Awful shit. Second suspect arrested in connection to Myrtle Beach murder. And I like I have a lot of nostalgia for Myrtle Beach. You know, I I still go to Broadway at the beach almost every year. Yeah, as part of like uh, our family takes like a vacation every year around that area. Um, or up uh, more so at uh, Sunset Beach. And so we usually take a day and go. And last time we went to the Yomatos. Mm. Yo mamas. Yum, yum, yum. That's not what I said. Yeah, dude. I went no, to Yo Mamas. That is not what I said. What's uh, that from? Uh, say it again. No, that is not what I said. I don't know. That sounds so familiar. If I told you the director of the movie, do you think it would help you narrow yeah. it down at least? Yeah. Quentin Tarantino? Pulp Fiction. No. <sighs> uh, is, 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 it's it, Django. Django. Damn Django it. Chained. It's when it's like, so you want me to treat him like a white man? And then he goes, no. That That's right. not what I said. That's right. Oh, here's a Myrtle Beach article about Horry County. That's where Myrtle Beach is. Votes to settle major class action lawsuit against opioid distributors. I'm going to kill you, Matt Watson. What's that from? I, I don't think that's in a movie. My diary. Good. You haven't read it. Okay. Go on. Did you write that? Oh, I was just saying uh, just a Myrtle Beach thing, but... Um, no biggie. Do you really have that in your diary? Biggie Smalls? Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, do you have that in your diary? Huh? Do you really have do that? Do I have your... Biggie Smalls in my diary? No, what, what no you I said don't before. have Biggie Smalls in my diary. You're crazy. Okay. I guess I am. Yeah, I guess yeah. we're all a little You always crazy. be having these weird dreams, you know? You know, what's reality dreams. at some point? You understand? Well, I don't think I have a, a hard time differentiating reality from my dreams, but... I have had that problem before. If I sleep for like oh, two- okay, so it could crop up well, again. If I sleep for like two days straight, I'll have that thing where it's like all my dreams feel real, and it like I it takes me a while to get out of that like fog of sleeping so long. I don't know why I my, I let myself do that sometimes. It feels awful sleeping like like recently I slept. So you'd say that you're not able to really comprehend most things throughout the day. You're just in a state of fog. Well, this was like 36 hours of sleep I got recently. Where I woke up every few hours, but I just stayed in bed all day. I slept the whole night, and then I slept the whole next night. Your body's like, you need to move your body around. It was awful. I felt like, if I stay in bed for a day, I remember I I got in- depressed as fuck. Like, it makes you depressed, it makes you anxious, and it makes you just... The, and the longer you lay in bed, the more tired you get. When I got COVID, I stayed, there was like a... I, I would just kind of lay down, like either in like a, a love seat. You know, with one of those levers that goes, or just the chair that goes, zoom, springs up. Oh, lazy boy, yeah. Except it was like, it, it's it's more electronic. It goes, you know, like that. <laughs> um, or I, and it's, there's, I, I, I took a lot of naps too. Mm. And I just remember laying down so much. I was like, fuck. 
this feels awful. Like my, I'm so achy and like, I feel so weak. I like had to go take a walk to like move around and get my body moving or something. Yeah. That's why I, I hate when you're sick and you have like a fever or something, you're laying in bed and like you're achy and like you, like usually when you're achy, you can, you can rest to alleviate the achiness, but not when you're sick. It's like you're achy while you're laying down. It's like, ah, and you're hot and like you're heavy. You have that heavy feeling. Like there's like a, like a really warm weighted blanket around you and you're like, <sighs> ah, not in a comfy way though. In like a like I you're, need to get a weighted you're already hot and you have a hot weighted blanket around you. When I was uh I visited Atlanta when I originally contracted Atlantis? I, I, I contracted the undersea COVID city COVID in Atlanta. Oh. Not Atlantis. Uh I wish. No, no, Atlantis, the resort that you get dropped off at at a carnival cruise, like in the in the like Jamaica. Where where they make a bunch of like basically like slave labor. People from the island like like work. You as can go custodians. down a water slide and see sharks. Is that the one with the water slide that has like the underwater tube? Mm-hmm. Classic, dude. Atlantis. Is that sandals? I think it's just called Atlantis. Just Atlantis. I remember seeing the commercials for that on like Nickelodeon. But you went to Atlanta. And that's where I contracted it. Uh, was there something else? I was saying, I'm... just by being achy, you wanted a way to blank it. Oh, dude, because I was kind of tired and. Uh, my friend just put a weight, weighted blanket on me as I was in a chair, and I think I like took like a thirty minute nap. I woke up, I was like, "Fuck, dude, weighted blankets I'm so comfy. They're awesome. My, the, the only the thing that sucks is just how too. hot they get for me. I get, I get, I already get like, I already sweat a lot under a regular blanket. So a weighted blanket is so nice. But then I'll wake up like it's Even like I'm in a like a little chilly. Yeah, but but even so, then my face is chilly, my body is drenched. It's kind of like I'm inside of like an egg sack, like with a bunch of like jelly and that's weird because I have more like meat on my body and I don't I like I feel like I'm so comfortable in I that. sweat so much when I you're sleep you're a sweaty boy just when I sleep sweaty boy I wake up yeah, I'll, I'll go through that. phases where I'll wake up uh, like three times a night just absolutely drenched like I have to like flip my pillow over it was very obvious whose side of the bed yours was mm. it was always a little bit wet a little soaking wet I've been able to see my outline before like in like I get up and I see like like a wet like that seems like an r slash reddit post yeah yeah it, it really does and it's so it's the most uncomfortable thing because you just want to go back to sleep but you can't get comfy because now the when you get up and stuff and you're wet but then it's cold mm-hmm because the sweat is cold but you're still hot and it's it feels awful I think I think it might be medication or something that that causes it because I have phases where it happens phases where it doesn't I don't mm-hmm. know well you know I th- I think it's about time that we get into um, the meat and potatoes. Talk about the big drama that happened between you and I over Twitter. Um, I figured this was going to come up. So Matt and I had a little spat. We had a little argument. We're good now. And Matt thought it was appropriate to post it as a tweet. Re- but real talk, funny haha fight. Um, well, there's nothing just, funny about it. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> it was serious. I exposed your ass to the world. So they, could, <laughs> they could see your true colors, man. <laughs> and it was recommended to so many people who yeah. have no idea who we are. I don't know what, what about that tweet, because, like... It didn't, like, pop off. Well, but none it, of my... It got decent likes, but it didn't, like, you know... Well, the thing was, none of my... Go viral. None of my tweets ever end up on... The, what happened was, for some reason, it ended up on... You know how Twitter has like the not Blank trending, like this. but not even that. It it has like subjects. Twitter has th- trending, but they also have subjects. Where when you scroll on your timeline, it figures out subjects you like, and it will show you uh, t- accounts you don't follow. But it picked up that tweet and just put it on, I guess, a topics tab that was shown to uh, hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, and I was just incredibly, I, I don't know why, but basically, this is the tweet. Let me scroll down real quick and, um, here, I said, I'm tired of staying silent and it's Ryan texting me. It's a screenshot and it's, he sent me a screenshot of me liking his tweet and he said, okay. No, 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 no. You liking someone's response to my tweet. Oh yeah. I like to reply. I see. I like to reply to your tweet. And you said, okay, jackass. (laughs) And then I put a bunch of question marks and I said, why man, what are you accomplishing here? Hurting my feelings? Congrats, asshole. And then you said, without my original hilarious tweet, you wouldn't have got... Oh, I see. I just understood what the conflict was. <laughs> just now. I thought, I thought that I liked your tweet. And you were saying, okay, I, I, I like to reply to your tweet, but I didn't like the original tweet? Yes. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you said without my... the joke. Without my original... Are you just now getting it? I'm just now getting it. <laughs> okay. Because this whole time I but thought so it was... regardless, it was a... It was like... It was so... 
There are two sides. There are two jokes here. Without my original hilarious tweet, you wouldn't have that garbage to even like. Respect where respect <laughs> is due. Unless you're afraid I'll ratio you. With the, hey, it's important. The emoji, where the, it's the guy covering his mouth. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's the guy covering his mouth. And when I said, I'm going to post as exposing you, I did just that. Say I'm tired <laughs> of staying silent. That's 15.6 thousand likes. Uh, and so many people are so but the response is miffed about it, dude. It, well, the thing is, it's... It's, uh, all the people that don't know who we are saw it, and they're the people that are, like, a lot of them are the people that are, like, huh, man, I hate these celebrities like, look at this bullshit drama, like, so they're, they, they make, like, high and mighty posts on it about, like, just how stupid we are, and, mm -hmm. like, how funny it is to see people like us fight and try to be like, cool. Like, what are these TikTokers? Like, I don't care about this stupid YouTube drama, uh, or some they, shit like that. They thought it was real, and, uh, here... Top response, of course, is Ryan replying, saying, <laughs> typical e-celeb, exploiting his friends for clout with a yawning emoji. There's some responses who respond to me, like, seriously, and I'm doing the yawn emoji. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going I'm to scroll down and see uh, see, see some of the good responses. Just, no, look up the reply. Look up a reply to me. I am. I am. I'm, I'm looking that. at your thing. There's some guy who was like. Dude, the, ta the taco squad said, sorry, who are you? <laughs> uh... Everyone is doing anything for clout. <laughs> it's it's so many like dudes that are like it's so like uh, like 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 a twenty seven year old dude that works at like a he has like, like a, a tire shop profile picture. yeah with like a smirk and his sunglasses and he's like <laughs> uh, neither of you are e celebrities. <laughs> I don't know why this was in my notifications. I, I don't know I, who I, these I people sent you are. That one over text, I think all right? I know is that there's drama. I'm clearly missing out on. <laughs> I sent you that on text, and it's funny because same, I, same, I, I checked same, his same. follows as a joke and to screenshot and send to you, because like he follows like it's just the lineup is hilarious. It's Ben Shapiro, Carl with a K, Carl Jacobs, Carl Jacobs, <laughs> and then Reddit, like, like Reddit's official Twitter. And it's like oh, okay. dude, that's the fucking that's the that's the dream team right there. <laughs> I know. No, and I go down this person's reply. Lineup. She has a ton of replies just saying same, same. This showed up on my timeline. I have no idea who they are. Someone said it's sarcastic, and someone said, no, are you new here? These two have been in each other's throats since 2017. I have no fucking clue who these guys are. Same. Uh, let's see. You're just scrolling down, and you just, I'm still looking at responses to yours. Uh, and, and it's just still more so, people. Someone had, like, was saying how... Matt Gay is like, hell for real. When you say, when someone says that their feelings are hurt, you have to take them seriously. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like... Jesus, who are? How you? is it not? How is it not obvious? It's a joke, isn't it obvious? Don't you think? But also, like, don't you, you think it's a little bit on the nose? All you gotta do is go to either one of our profiles too, and you'll see that it's like, <laughs> oh, it's jokes. Uh, who are either of you the guys? The last LMAO. tweet you put out, I responded with these nuts. Hey, man, that was that was a little too far. <laughs> Get out of my notifications. Who are either of you guys, LMA? It's like I'm not in your. I didn't put myself in your notifications. Twitter did. I just love how they have to make a statement about it. Maybe it's also their way of like, I don't know, are they protesting to Twitter or to us? Us. They're saying like, get out of my notifications. <laughs> it's not our pussy. fault. It's Twitter's fault. Yeah. Apparently it was a banger because y'all had, oh, the, here's the thing though. They proved that drama still fucking, all they were doing was like interacting with it because it was like in their thing. Ooh, drama. Dude, it's I'm like on bird... It's like on Bird app, not worth putting your friend down like that. I don't have the full story, but your petty reply here is telling I think you both should have taken a step back, took a breath, and talked it out before shaming each other online. That's some high school bullshit. Oh, here it is. When someone <laughs> says their feelings are hurt, you can't boil this down to banter between friends. Because someone's trying to be like, they're friends. They have a podcast. Like, they're trying to explain to them. <laughs> and then they're like, that's not any way of talking. That's normal among me and my friends. I'm wondering why any of this matters. Uh, I love reading this. Yep, this pretty much sums up Twitter. At least this was done in good taste and wasn't taken seriously. Right? Why is this recommended for me? I literally just look at cool Delta Rune fan art on this app. <laughs> okay. Who the fuck are you? I have no clue why I got a notification for this. So do people get like a notification? Oh, I know what it is. Twitter will suggest tweets sometimes in notifications. I have it turned off, but it will like... Straight up notification on your phone screen where it just shows the tweet. And I guess this tweet must have been shown to thousands of people. 
Um, You're both sad people, friends drifting away because their ideals don't match. It's okay, though. One of you is going to pass on first. That's who really won the race. <sighs> Amen. For real, LOL. These wannabe ass MFs. Oh, I'll ratio you like Nibba. I can't hear you <laughs> over the pity dick in your mouth. Yo. From Evan. Evan. <laughs> Calm down, Evan. Came out the gates, man. <laughs> Firing shots. I just think it was so hilarious because, like, I can understand the people like, why is this in my recommended? But it's like the people who they were get like, involved. who were like, who, who are these fucking losers and why are they fighting? Oh, it's like, just calm down, relax. I can, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it just it got to be frustrated. Yeah, I see people saying they got a notification for this tweet. So it's like, they do, got, do you, you don't have that setting turned on. I don't have of it. Of course not. It's you annoying should, as fuck. No one should ever have that they setting They do it turned to new, like, it's automatically on with new Twitter users. Uh, and I made another Twitter account for something. Uh, that's, that's, uh, not out yet, but it's like, I didn't have that turned off, so I still get notifications for tweets, just random tweets, multiple times a day, uh, and that, you know, this must have been one of those ones that got, uh, sent out to a bunch of people. Why was this recommended to me? I'm gonna be honest and say I have no clue what is happening. This I've, popped up in my recommended and I don't follow what's going on here. Could someone tell me what ratio means? My ads were just filled with this shit for like a solid over a day. I didn't, you let me know. I, I didn't even, after I tweeted this, I kind of forgot about it. Because I, cause I was on the East Coast, so I woke up way earlier than you were. And I was like, what the fuck is and going on? you texted me, you were like, dude, have you seen the responses to, to our <laughs> fight? And I was like, no. And I went and looked and I was like, whoa. That's like 14,000 likes now? I was like, people are pressed. <laughs> Imagine trying to demand respect from someone. Forgetting respect is earned, not demanded. <laughs> they should they should put that on a, hey, you know what I'm going to say? You should, you should put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I'm going to put on a fucking t-shirt. I have no idea who the fuck either of you are. That's valid. Yeah. A lot of people don't know us. Well, I mean, that's okay. still don't like, have a million fucking subscribers. The it, moment we have a million is the minute we get some respect around. All this of these industry. people are gonna suddenly re reply in a few months. We hit a million, they're gonna go, "Oh, we're gonna get emails. Do you want to collab? Do you want to collab? We're gonna we're gonna get these. Right now, we have these pity fucking Twitter follows by bigger creators, and it's whatever. You know, it, it it's fine. I, yeah. I, 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 I I can dig the game. They're putting their investment in something that might be big one day. Right, right. You know. We're so close to that respect line. We are, Super Mega is, is honestly like a breakout investment and it's still on the ground floor. That's the thing. <laughs> we're almost, we're, we're close to a million, but we're not there yet, which means that there's still time but to get in M? on this. You can Will fucking, one M? if you guys invest in Super Mega right now, the returns are, listen, how many other YouTube channels, all, they all have a million already, right? They get all, off the like, Patreon, get off the Spotify, go to YouTube and subscribe. Well, you don't have to get off the Patreon. No, well, I mean, open a new tab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay subscribed. But the YouTube, that's the thing, man. That's the thing. Everyone else has a million subs. Every fucking, name anyone popular that everyone knows. They have over, they have millions of subs. We don't. We're the only ones still fucking sitting here on the fucking locker room bench, twiddling with our, twiddling our cock in our we hands. We deserve this. So. Come on. It's, it's, it's still. Come on, team. People can, people can get in on this now. Now, come on. <laughs> Come on, super mega fans. Let's get on in here. Come on. Okay, on on three. All right. Or, or on on one. Three, two, one. No, no, no. On go. Oh, on three, go. Three. You go. You start it. Three, two, one. Go, go team. Team. I just threw team in there for yeah. Just go because we're all we're we're all in this together. together. I don't even know why you're recommended your, to me. Get your head in the game. And I don't even get, know get, who y'all are. But game, stop bro. before you both get canceled, slanty face. I'm not. I don't know stop. them. I'm and I thought they're like. Till I get my shot. That's who I am. That is my jet plan. What? I'm just having so much fun. Like, I'm still going down and just like, this person typed a lot. Uh, I don't know them. And I thought they're like famous or something. So them fighting each other over the internet and one of them saying something like toxic or something should get them canceled. At least that's how it works with celebrities. And then someone was like, they're making fun of those types of celebrities. They're actually really great friends in real life and have fake fights all the time in their YouTube videos. Oh, that makes sense. I, I just I just keep going down. Just keep going down. There's so... Why is this petty shit appearing in my notifications? I just love how many people interacted with it. That's what's funny. To me, funnier than it getting shown to everyone is that... Well, it's proof that they're just... It, it's it's a it, little bit... It sucks people it's in. hypocritical in the action because it's like... It's like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just of the whole mindset and <clears throat> fuck, I swear to God, if a thread gets created on goddamn rant grumps about me saying this, 
you don't like it, don't watch it. It's like, if you don't like something, I just scroll past it. Dude! <laughs> like, I never- That makes no sense! Unless it's like, like, it's like, hey, Activision, uh, is caught in this huge fucking sexual harassment thing. Yeah, I'll give it a retweet, you know? Be like, Activision sucks. Are you saying that if you don't like it, you're not gonna force your- Why, if I, if I don't like something, I'm still gonna force myself to sit and watch the entire thing. It makes no sense otherwise. Or if something, like- I'm not gonna spend my time doing something that I actually enjoy. I'm gonna put some effort into trying to understand this. Uh, sorry, I was- I'm, I'm still going through See, a lot of replies. People on the channel are saying the fake fighting is getting old, but apparently people still fall for it. That's- that's what's funny, you know? It's, we've, been, we've been- you and I have been making videos on YouTube for over six years now, and it's- I- I mean, the- the fake- goes back before Super Mega Man. We've been doing this for, in fact, actually, recently, you and I put on a, a Sindago podcast clip, yep. and, and it was from, it was seven years ago, and what was crazy to me was, I was like, dude, this sounds just like right now. Mm -hmm. Like, our voices, like, pretty, like, how we're talking to each other. We didn't have the, like, we hadn't built our chemistry fully up yet, but... Uh, ad reads. Today's episode of Super Mega Cast is sponsored by Honey. And I'm not talking about that sticky sweet stuff. I'm talking about that real, su real sweet stuff that helps you save money online. We all shop online, and we've all seen that promo code feel taunt us at checkout. It's just going, stupid, you're stupid, you're not saving money. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. It's something cavemen do. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. I like to use Honey on my food delivery apps. Um, and recently, I, I ordered myself dinner. I had some friends over, I ordered dinner. Uh, and, you know, when you order for multiple people, you know, it's it's not the cheapest. But Honey jumped in at the last minute and was like, hold up, saved me $14.30. I remember that number. And I was like, wow, I would not even have, you know, I had that extra money now because of Honey. And how does it work? Well, here's how it works. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find on that site. And if Honey finds working coupons, you'll watch the prices drop. Honey has found it's over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings. So if you don't already have Honey, you could straight up be missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in just a few clicks. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting Super Megacast. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash megacast. That's joinhoney.com slash megacast. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it sounded the same, the Sindago podcast. Those yeah. episodes are... This goes to both of you. I don't... I, I don't still reading responses. I love it, dude. I'm, I don't know why I got a notification. The fuck does it matter? Dot, 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 dot. Four dots. All I have to say is friends don't put other friends down for stupid shit. Bleep out when I said shit because they censored themselves. They put an asterisk. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I thought that it would be done by now. The fuck is this trash being shown to me? This is great, No, man. it goes on for like it really goes a on. full day. Yeah, they uh, over a full day. I see a lot of people saying that we're going to be canceled because of this fight. <laughs> What, do you guys know? That just shows people don't even know what to cancel people for. They just fucking... They like, just want to jump on it and do it. Uh, they want to see it happen. Jesus Christ, know. nobody can take an insult anymore. What the hell yeah, did Matt. I just read? Who are you guys? <laughs> to a lot of people, this was the first and only time they will ever see us. I know! And that's what's so fucking funny. Is like, we will forever... like if they Even if they ever see our faces again. Are you really saying you hurt my feelings when someone is insulting you? What the fuck do you expect them to do? Apologize? <laughs> this is Joe Biden's America. So he's a liberal. I've never even heard of Matt and Ryan from Super Mega before. This is just more stupid YouTuber drama. Shake my head. SMH, dude. SMH, SMH my man. I got a notification for this bullshit and I don't even know who the fuck you- People are just aggressive, man. Like, yeah. no one cares. Get a job. Start a family. I don't know. You or your boy toy you're arguing with. We should get a job and start a family, yeah. man. You're we, both we, sad people. You're both sad friends drifting away because their ideals don't match. It's okay. The one of you is going to pass on first. That's who really won the race. That's the one you read, yeah? Yep. Damn, dude. I'm glad that so many people got involved in, in this for us. I know. They were very passionate about it. Shows that it shows both that you need to stop acting like kids and shut up. It shows that human compassion really does go beyond a personal connection with someone. You're like you fucking can really, children. Just you can really love a stranger. You can, man. And this, 
I got I got to the end. The last tweet was the last two where you're like fucking children, grow up and deal with it, and then both y'all are dumb as hell. So uh, I got to the end of all the responses. So I but those I, are the responses to my specific response or that's no no to everything. I, I just want to thank everybody for the uh for caring so much. Yeah. Um it means a lot that y'all are there for oh, us. I Our friendship is better now. We 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 solved it. That's how that's how relationships grow. You <laughs> you you know a good relationship is is not just built on having fun times together. It's built on uh, overcoming challenges and obstacles. So when we run into a roadblock together, uh, something that causes friction uh, or tension or a fight, we we work through it. To we build a house, it. you might have to chop down your favorite tree. Exactly, exactly. And we might, uh, yeah, that makes sense. And you know, <laughs> you know, we might disagree on things, but uh, we just push it aside. Overcome it, expose it on Twitter, and move forward. Uh, okay, I'm looking at the analytics for this tweet. Oh, shit. See how many people saw it. It popped off. 573,000 impressions. So 573,000 people saw it. 200,000 people engaged with it. 121,000 people opened the thread. <laughs> uh, it makes me want to get in, like, fake fights more. Because it's funny. And wait, should I, should I promote this tweet? How do you wait, what, put money into it? Yeah, so it promotes it on people's Twitters. <laughs> oh, so it just starts showing like this. Because you know when you see promoted tweets? <laughs> and it's just like, it, it's like an ad that appears, but it's someone's tweet. People would know you spent money on that shit. It's funny as fuck, though, to me. It's like, like we should promote this. Promoted? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, That's I didn't. just fucking. I didn't even look at the quote retweets. There's only 14. Uh. You always know it's good, man, when you when you go to quote retweets and it says there's like 30, but you can only see three. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, this is this is, this is good. That, that means that there's some some nice responses. I can always I can always t tell uh, how how controversial uh, a tweet is by uh, the number of quote retweets and then how many you can actually see. Because if you can't see a majority of the quote retweets, then you're like these kids on private are going crazy right now. Quote retweeting. Uh, getting upset. You know what? If y'all got some shit to say, don't be a pussy and make it private. Say it. Say it to my face. Yeah, our lives are public. Why can't yours be? Right? Bitch. Everyone's life should be public, and I think everyone should <laughs> should have everything out there just because we 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 do it. So, I mean, I, I think that everyone should. We're going to be in the metaverse soon. Everyone's going to know everything. Are you excited for the metaverse, bro? Yeah. No. Looks stupid. Hey. As long as I can gr grill some meats in the metaverse, maybe, you know? Definitely grill some grill meats. Grill up some metaverse. meats with some, uh, oh, what's that good sauce? What's sweet that? Baby Ray's. Sweet Ray's. Baby Ray's. <sighs> yeah. Sweet Baby Ray's is pretty good, but it's a little it's a little sweet for my taste. No, I always well, have it a, is Sweet Baby Ray's. I always have a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's. Well, sweet I'm Baby Ray's? I'm cooking my meats. When he announced the whole, when it's my smoked meats, sorry. Smoked meats. Smoking the meats? When, when Zuckerberg announced the name change to Meta, on the background on his shelf, he had a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's. Of course he did. Little goofster. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> of course he did. He's a little, he's a little uh-oh. Uh, he's, he's a little <laughs> prankster. I love it. I'm going to, guess what I'm going to do, honey? Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah. Put the Sweet gonna, Baby. You're, you're going to put, put the Sweet Baby, baby Ray's. And so then they can see it. Okay. So, because okay. of the video? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because of the video? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. That, remember the smoke, uh, smoking the meats? Well, I'm going to go, um... Talk to the camera. What? I'm going to go talk to the camera. Oh. Okay. Well, I was saying I'm going to go just out. Oh. You don't want to watch? I might be a little late. Okay. Are, are you going to watch my live stream on, on the Facebook name? Yeah, I'll have it on, on, my, on, on, the, on, on the car, on the Facebook app. In the, in are the, you seeing your personal car. trainer? Yes. Yes. Okay. Just a late night session. Right. You know, you got to. Put in you came back hours. sore last time, so don't don't go too hard this time, sweetheart. All right, uh, I'm gonna go introduce. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna blow you a kiss. Okay, I get, just get one on the cheek for good luck. No, oh, it's okay. There, there, right. there it is. Thank you. Did you catch it? Uh, smoked meat, smoked meat. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay. Hey everyone, this is Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> That's what happened right before the video. Can you See, put in the door closing sound effect too, just to seal the deal? Yeah, I mean Thank you're you. editing it, so. Fuck, you're right. I am editing this one. Every time I have to use a door closed sound, uh, even if it's like a super serious thing, I use the Minecraft one it's, because it's yeah, such a perfect. So Actually, in one of the one of the tracks on the <laughs> Super Mega album that we've been working on, uh, there's there's like a, it's like an audio sketch, and there's a part where a door opens. And a door <laughs> it's closed, the Minecraft. And we use the Minecraft sound. It sounds good. And every time I show someone that, they're like, "Is that the Minecraft?" We recorded sound? that like two years ago, dude. Not two years ago. Oh fuck yeah. No. 
COVID, we recorded that before COVID, I thought. We, we recorded the rough draft uh, a year and a half ago, I'd say. So, yeah. Time's flying. It's, I think it it's, is. Oh, fuck. I think it's been longer than we think. I think that we... That's been... Hey, now that we got black, like, the book was the big priority. Let we, let's get worked on the album more. Like, let's just have more album days. Let's try to have one to two album days a week. Just, we're, we're both getting, like, I, like, right after this podcast, I'm rushing home to get streaming set up shit working. Because, you know, you, that we're back with the Epic SMP. Yeah, baby. Epic SMP. And so I'm trying to get my stream stuff set up. Uh, you've streamed a couple times. Exactly a couple. Mm -hmm. I streamed the first day six and a half hours, and yesterday two and a half hours, and today I'm going to try to go for three or a four. A couple and a few are interchangeable. No, they're not. Shut up, you fucking idiot. No, they're fucking not. I don't know. Look, like, where? Where do you? Uh, I get it. There's there's a pair of something. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But a couple? A couple? It's a... Are you saying a couple always means two? Should always mean two. It should, but, but the way English is, is used. Fuck English. I it's do, wrong. I do... Say a couple. I'm like when I'm referring to three or four things sometimes. No way. Yeah, I can't in my brain. No way. I'll say. I it's say it's an absolute for me. Let's say uh, I have, um, a, uh, let me look around real quick. Uh, that pile of uh, toenail clippings of yours right there on the table. Yeah. Um. There's there's three. I could be like there's a couple of toenail clippings right there. No, there are three. There there are a few. A few. A I few, know, I know, I know technically. A few I know you're right. I know you are right. Well, I'm not technically right. But it's wrong. Definition of couple is But two. it's wrong. But. You're right. But, but, fucking but disgusting. language changes even if it's incorrect. It, it, it go, it's all about the fucking, like, anthropology. What is it where it's like, it's just like the, the. Fuck these hipsters trying to make slang. I, I want to go back to old in English, baby. I we can't love, even understand what the fuck they're saying. I read, or I watched this video about from the '80s, and some of you guys might have heard about this, but it's a, it was this famous case uh, about like proof for time travel, which, in my opinion, it's I think it's obviously a hoax, but it's this. Uh, it was a famous case in England where this guy had an old uh, computer. Like the type you could just type on, like the green text, mm -hmm. an IBM like old computer in like 1986 or something. And he would leave home and when he would come back, he would have messages written on there that was like from someone from like the 1600s. And uh, he's like, what the? And he showed people and they thought it was weird. I mean, they kept appearing. Uh, and he was telling people like, I'm not doing these. They're just appearing on the computer. I don't know how these are getting here. Uh but then they had like a like an English professor like study it and like trace the specific time period of like the exact words used. So it was like very specific old English, mm -hmm. and it was about like the town he lived in right there. And people could look up the like trace these people back. And then like another person appeared uh, from like uh, twenty one oh nine that was sending messages back, also typing kind of weird and like a futuristic English type. And and the psychic like association of psychics came and investigated it um the sidekick psychics the side the, the sidekick sidekicks came and investigated <laughs> it and they were skeptic but they never could disprove it the psychic sidekicks i forgot what it's called but it's a uh, yeah that case is crazy but the old english that was used was I, I, I what the fuck it's like a different language i don't understand what any of that means dude it's like it's pretty easy to, to if you heard about the case of the london bridge it's falling down. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, dude, I did hear about How'd that. How'd you know I was gonna do that to you? Thine bristle and twine. Because I have a little smirk on me when I'm asking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen to this. You hear about the case of the London Bridge? You know what? It's falling down. That's what I wanted. I'll get it out of you one of these days, Matthew Watson. One of a ter uh, terrorist is eventually gonna bomb the London Bridge and be like, "Ha ha, see, I am not a terrorist. I am a." <laughs> man, you always fucking get me with that, dude. dude come on, it's fucking it's, always it's from Iron Man three, man. What can I say? That exact part, <laughs> yeah, that's how it plays Listen, out. Like, we, Mr. We, President, will you, will you tell me real quick what this uh, means? I'll, okay. read, I'll read you a few sentences that he said. Sentence by sentence, tell me if you're able to even decipher this shit from 1520. I'm trying to find it. Hold on. Oh, I thought you had it ready. No, it's. I went to a website. I you were prepared, Matthew. I, I did go to a website, but it wasn't. Um, 
I searched time travel computer old English. Matt uh, Watson. <laughs> the Dodleston messages. Okay, now I can pull it up. Now that I know the name. Um, here we go. Yeah. One second. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. You're so good at that sound, man. No, I don't want to go to the unexplained podcast. I'm sorry, man. I'm just give me a second. Found them on Wikipedia. No, that's the article for Dodleston. Let me give me one second. You could skip ahead. Yeah, skip ahead. Wait, or did did we go to ad break? Okay. Is no? Is that what we said? Uh, no, I was just saying you could skip ahead. But it, we'll, we'll could, go. Could we go? To yes, an ad we'll go to ad break right here. Okay, and when we come back. The nap portion of the podcast. The dodal I'm going to go smoke some weed, and we're about to get super sleepy. I'll make sure uh, we'll be back with the nap segment. It's a new year, and your boys, Matt and Ryan, are back in action, and I'm sure you are too. I've got things to do and people to see, faces to kiss, and people to hold hands with and, and, and play, play with. And I don't, you know, want to spend time in line at the grocery store hunched over the stove, but I don't have time, you know, to meal plan or prep, but... Luckily, there's Factor, and I, 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 I get that time back by leaving my meals to Factor. Factor makes it easy for me to eat clean 24-7 with fresh, never frozen, prepared meals that are so delicious, you wouldn't believe they're actually good for you. Factor saves me time by delivering chef-crafted meals to my doorstep, eliminating the hassle of grocery shopping and meal prep, not to mention cleanup. No dishes to wash here, and I, you know, I hate doing dishes. I've tried Factor, I really enjoy it, and honestly, uh... Besides how delicious the food is, it's incredible. Uh, I love not having to go grocery shopping or do dishes. I hate doing dishes. So thank you, Factor. Each Factor meal arrives pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. That's even faster than ordering food. Factor tackles the tough stuff, so I don't have to. Their registered dietitians and expert chefs work hand-in-hand -hand to create meals with nutritious ingredients. And with more than 27 meal options each week, I'm never bored. Factor even knows my preferences. They offer vegan plus veggie meals, cold-pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, plant-based bars, extra protein, veggie sides, and more to keep me fueled and focused all day long. Head to go.factor75.com slash plans and use code SUPER120 to get $120 off your first five weeks of meals. That's code SUPER120 at go.factor75.com slash plans for $120 off. Nom, 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 nom. So you've probably heard about microdosing. If you search around a bit on the internet, you'll find all sorts of people are microdosing to feel healthier and perform better. This episode of the Super Mega Cast is sponsored by Microdose Gummies. Microdose Gummies deliver perfect entry-level doses of THC that help you feel just the right amount of good. Yay! I actually had a, I actually had some Microdose Gummies last night. Helped me get to bed. Helped me feel nice and calm. It was, it was really nice. I, I. I, I put on some Alicia Keys, and I just entered a world of complete bliss. Closed my eyes and... You know what I'm talking about? Microdose is available nationwide. To learn more about microdosing THC, just do a quick search online or go to microdosegummies.com and use code SUPERMEGA to get free shipping and 30% off your first order. Links can be found in the description. Again, that's microdosegummies.com, code SUPERMEGA. Welcome to the nap portion, everyone. We oh, have yeah. a nice piece playing in the background. Um, you were looking something up before the before the nap portion started. The, the Dodleston messages. The Dodleston messages. Well, it was just about old English, mm -hmm. and I and I wanted to see if you were able to understand hey, what this can means. Can y'all can, can you raise the volume on that? Okay, thank you. Listen to this. <clears throat> True are the nightmares of a person that fears safe are the bodies of the silent world turn pretty flower turn toward the sun this is like poetry though are they talking about is it a guy actually just trying to say something this sounds okay like this is the wrong message i'm reading some of uh. <clears throat> okay well i can't read it so the guy narrates it but he he films his computer screen showing it like in this video i watched but he did like an effect so the edge is blurred so i can't even fucking read it so Forget it. I do love old English, man. I want to. What do you think, like, future English will sound like in like 2200? Like, I'm sure there'll be spelling differences. Get, bro. Like, you know, you look at older words and see how they're spelled, like vine or. Uh, I be the up, one up. They put like. Cup that, that's what it is. 
Like it's gonna sound just like weird, just kind of like a short. Yeah, you'll still tell it's English, but there'll be like parts of it that just like I have no idea what that just meant. Bet. I mean, I'm think I, I don't think it's gonna change too drastically in our lifetime. <laughs> no, not in our lifetime. Oh, you're talking about like hundreds of years. Yeah, or even like like a thousand years. Well, honestly, well, here's the thing: is I think language changed so much in the past because it was only change it was only evolved by passing on generations but now we have too. right but it would just be passed on by word of mouth so that it was really easy for that to change but now because the internet recordings are preserved so everyone is always listening to and hears what english does sound like and i think that because it's so widespread and preserved and available it won't really change that much anymore yeah drastically like how it did in old english when clans were about yeah our own little clan, man. We gotta start a clan. We gotta all come up with a language and then go have families. Unilog. We'll have our own kind of interpretation of the language or way of saying things. We'll speak Unilog, dude. Yeah, it's the language Matt created. It's an auxiliary uh, language, yeah. In high school? Nice. Advance for a high schooler. Creating a I whole know. freaking language. No, I didn't create the whole language. I started writing a grammar textbook and I made a, a spreadsheet of, of vocabulary. And I made like two, three hundred words. Or something like that. I still have it. I taught myself how to... I'm not gonna lie, dude. It was... It made sense. Like, I, my goal was I wanted to make, like, the easiest, simplest little, like, language that the goal was I could talk to a Chinese person. That's it. No, the goal was that I could... <laughs> I could like, foreign That's people it. can speak to each other without having to learn each other's languages. Like, a Chinese dude doesn't I have to learn Russian. to a Chinese person. They both just know a little Unilog, and because they yeah. can both learn a little Unilog so easy. So then... I had this idea when I was in high school. I had this idea. What if I could speak to a Chinese man? No! And they You're laughed crazy. at me. You're crazy! I told my best friend at the time, and he laughed at me. But I say today, en un el edo es du. And that's Unilog? That kind of sounds like Unilog, yeah. Does it? No, really. I does. still remember a little bit. T -t -t tell me something. Well, I, like, I was, was Che. Yeah. So you say, like, I, myself, like, Che. Um, R, like, to be, that verb, uh, was, was ma. And to make... A verb, all verbs end with A, and to make a verb past tense, you put an in on it, so it's mon. So mon becomes was, or were. So like, che mon means I was, uh, gay. Sure. Yeah? Oh, gay means, um, uh, I actually don't remember, but choice. No. Sinful, I think. I think it's sinful. So if I wanted to say I was sinful, I could say che man gay. Or okay. I am sinful, che ma gay. Interesting. You know? And then there's also a, a I forgot, maybe it was a, there, there was another consonant you would replace the N with to make it future tense. So I will be gay. It was like che, che mop gay. I don't remember. But like every single verb ends with an A. So to conjugate it, you just put the, the letter for whatever tense. Pretty simple. Did you come up with like, because you know how sometimes in a language there are, there's different ways of saying something or like there's not a word for something in one language and there is in another for like a feeling. Well, Unilog, what I had planned was it wasn't going to be like super complex. complex. It was just, it was, it was, base. it was, it was very simple. So like there doesn't need to be a word for every single thing. It's mainly just for basic communication where, you know. It's like I could talk to a China, a China, a China man and wouldn't have to biblioteca, something like that. Right, like you know, when I'm when I'm in a foreign country, I I don't need to talk about like the philosophies of Socrates. I need to just no. say, "Where's the fucking bathroom? I shit myself," you know. So that's exactly what. Would it's you for. in Unilog? Would you be able to say, "I pooped myself"? You know what? Let me pull up the the textbook and the document. <clears throat> Maybe see if uh if I if I can get any good sentences out of the this. the Almighty textbook of Unilog. It had a green cover. I, I remember it. I'll show you, dude. I don't know if I ever showed you when we talked about this on the Sindago podcast, but Daniel, let me see. He, he made fun of me. <laughs> He's like, yeah, dude, Unilog. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, last modified May 3rd, 2014. All right. Here it is. Unilog dictionary. Uh, Here's the textbook. <laughs> 
where's the cover? How to fucking cover on this? Unilog. Uh, <laughs> dude, look. <laughs> a descriptive grammar of Unilog, and it's a star. It's like a textbook. I tried to make like a real like fucking like little textbook. Looks like a yearbook. First edition. Uh, here's like explaining more about the Unilog language. <laughs> Jesus, read some of that. There are no double letters or silent letters allowing speakers of Unilog to be able to spell any word they hear with ease, making spelling errors a thing of the past. The vocabulary is very simple. Words commonly avoid consonant clusters, allowing ease of, ease of speaking to most speakers around the world. Most words consist of three to six characters and follow a single pattern. Nouns will always end in the letter O, verbs will always end in the letter A, and adjectives will always end in the letter I. The grammar is very basic and simple and follows a subject, verb, object pattern, like English, Spanish, Chinese, Russian, French, and Italian. The only exception to this rule is pronouns and when nouns are plural. Good luck and have fun learning Unilog. Are there pronouns? Mm hmm. See, uh. Uh. I'm, I'm going down right now to see. Here's the exceptions. Like, C is always pronounced ch, like chicken. And X is always pronounced, uh. ch. You say ch, like chicken? Ch. Ch. C is a ch. Ch, like chicken? Yeah, so, so. Chucking? To say, to say, I, ch, it's C-E. Ch. And then X is sh. So X-I-N would be shin. But, but listen to this. Hold on, I'm getting past the vowel sections. Dude, these are some goofy ass sounding words. <laughs> Verbs all in with the letter A. I'm looking for the, the, the pat, here, pronouns. Uh. You is, is, Tay? Tay Zande. Chocolate. Dude, I'd love for him to sing that in Unilog. Chocolate pain. He'd be like, Tongo Bay. He's singing it in fucking Unilog, it'd be amazing. Che is I, Te is you, J is she, Re is he, and Gore is the third person pronoun. Which is like, them, they, them. So yes, you can be, you can be non-binary and speak Unilog. Uh, Why wasn't it designed so everyone is just, it doesn't matter. That's actually a good point. Well, I I guess when you're when you're talking about people, it's easy to specify if it's a group of people. You need Not to when we're all going to be bald and big eyed one day, and gray. slits for noses, small mouths, teardrop shaped shit. You know. Yeah. Here's the verbs, bro. Ma, like I said, to be, to do is bepa. Uh, no ma is to eat. Uh, look at this. Tofa is to feel. Ika to like love. Tofa grace. Yeah, dude. Tofa Grace. Nimana is to need. Gula is to drink. Ohana means family. It does. It does. And it's also a word in Unilog. Really? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. It means sexual assault. Oh. But, you know, just different from yeah. Lilo and Stitch, but yeah. that's, that's, that's fucking Lilo Unilog. Lilo is a great movie. I wonder if they're still working on that live action thing they're going to put oh, on Disney+. They Plus. They're just going to get a little fucking like Jack Russell Terrier and spray paint them blue to be Stitch. I am excited for Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. They released like a little teaser with Sylvester Cricket. I can't remember. It, it wasn't Jeremy. Sylvester it wasn't, it wasn't Jeremy Cricket. Well, that's the Cricket's name, right? From the Disney. Jiminy shit. Cricket. Sorry, Jim Jeremy Cricket. <laughs> Jeremy Cricket. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. But his this this dude's name is like Self Alfonso Sil, Sylvester. No, hold up. Is it Sylvester Stallone as a cricket? <laughs> no. I'm a cricket. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, a pedal. cricket. Pinocchio. Hold up. He he introduces himself. I'll allow him to introduce himself. Hold up. This liquid ID is good. He's lighting a little. It's stop motion. A little blunt. I want to tell you a story. Yeah. Oh, it's stop motion. You may think you know, but <laughs> you don't. Who are you? No, really. He's a little see, cricket. I, Sebastian. Sebast Sebastian J. Cricket. Se so do you think his middle name, J, is Jiminy? Jiminy? Yeah, 100%. Sebastian J. Cricket. Do you, do you think that's like his son or something? That's why he has his dad's name is his middle name? Well, in the trailer later, you find out that he, he goes, And I lived in the heart of a wooden boy. I can't wait for the whale scene. If they fuck up and don't do the whale scene, I forgot I'm the story of Pinocchio, pissed. like all the way, except for that his nose gets big when he lies. His nose gets big. And he becomes he goes a real to boy Donkey theme. Island. He goes to a donkey show at Donkey Island. Yeah. 
He just turned into, well, some some of his pals turned into donkeys. And they partake in the donkey show. Yeah. Super Mega goes to a donkey show. Next vlog. You know, it's quick drive down to Mexico. It's two hours from here. Could we be on the donkey on top of it? Not doing anything to it, but like riding it. Sure. But not like riding it uh, sexually. Yes. Like, like riding on top of it. <laughs> like yeah. saddled, saddled up. Yes. Like like giddy up on top of that donkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. A, like bull riding. Like hop on top and giddy yeah. up. Which also could mean anal sex with the donkey or or, or vaginal sex with but the donkey. But we would not but be doing anything We're not sexual. doing that. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. Oh, I'm sure the donkey is too, to be honest. <laughs> exactly, yeah. You know? Everyone, having having everyone likes sex. And sex is great. Everyone loves it. Okay, and that's where we're going to end the uh, nap portion, fellas. Thank you for coming out. Okay. Thanks. Uh, you can validate parking up front, yeah. It's like for it's for like two hours. You guys are good. Yeah. You can get if you need if you need two validation tickets, just tell them that we said you can get it and they'll they'll do it. All right. Thanks guys. Uh yeah, donkey shows are sweet though. Let's go to one. Okay. I have been to a ping pong show. A ping pong show? I have been to a ping pong show. Is a real they, ping pong show. Is that where they shoot a ping pong out of their vaginas? Mm-hmm. In Thailand. My my cousin and her husband. Took me to some strip clubs in Thailand to show me uh, the red light district. I don't see no woman laying an egg. Well, she wasn't laying an egg, dude. That's what it looks like. She's popping ping pong balls at her coochie. It was it, awesome. Like, like she has little eggs in her. Like, like, like a fucking all oh, like chicken. The, it was a depressing strip club. We sat all the way in the back because I didn't want to watch like a hot, sweaty person. Well, yeah, put and ping pong balls in their vagina. There's a stage, then, like in then, the middle, and then queef them out. Oops. A little poop comes out, dude. <laughs> what? Uh, it just happens during the shows. But oh, their vaginas? There's, there's one, like, 60-year-old white man that looked just like Jim, actually, sitting up front with his beer, just kind of like... <laughs> Was like he wearing grinning. a straw hat? Yeah. Might have been Jim. Jim he, he looks, loves straw dude, hats. Jim looks just like every dude that was in the Ladyboy bars. But, yeah, the, the guy that looked like Jim was sitting up front, and uh, she was popping ping pong balls out. And yeah. she kind of like moved like her legs, so it kind of like rolled down and dropped into his drink. Ew. Yeah. Did he drink it? Yeah. Oh. He was he was smiling. Motherfucker, dude. Ew. Right. That's disgusting. It, and then she pulled needles out of her pussy, and then we left. What I do was you like, mean she pulled needles out of her pussy. She had a string. Yeah. Like a thread. Yep. And she th- she threaded needles on it. So there was just On ne- her vagina? So there were like five needles hanging, like where the, the thread was going through the eye of the needle, right? Yeah. And one by she starts pulling a string out of her pussy, and then the needles come out one by one. And everyone's like, whoa. It's a real I thing. Mean, I guess it is ma- magic. <laughs> it was magic. How did sure. she do it? She put needles in her pussy. <laughs> She just she just put them in a way where when she pulls the string it doesn't cut her or poke her. Would you ever put needles in your pussy? Uh, I, for the right price, yeah. Pussy boy, yeah. I put it in my boy pussy. Hell yeah, ne- dude. He, he pulling needles out his pussy. Hell, dude. I love pussy, dude. Can't get enough of it. I love Justin's pussy. That thing is <sighs> juicy, Can be a bit musty. A little bit, bad. A little stanky. There's a little bit of stank there sometimes. Kind of smells like if someone were to dump a crate of mothballs in a cornfield. Yes, the cornfield. That's very specific, actually, and and I totally, uh, like I I, you know, like I I get that. That makes a lot of sense. I know exact. Yeah. I don't know how, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. It does. It has that kind of like earthy, but also like starchy smell that corn has. You know, kind of like dusty mm-hmm. hay kind of smell. Um, Still earthy because you're around soil. Well, he wipes with hay. Uh, so that's probably why there is that natural and probably a little stanky because it doesn't do a good job. But. Okay, so we stopped wiping with bamboo. Yeah, just hay, which I actually ba- I think hay is actually a step lower than bamboo. Mm. Bamboo is a rod you can at least kind of slide across your ass. You crack. just shove it up hay, there, twist it, and pull it right. out. Right. Hay is, on the other hand, is kind of just all over the place. And yeah. You're not going to get an, an even wipe. But yeah, Justin needs to clean his bussy. Uh, thing is nasty. But, but But when it is clean, fantastic. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Uh, we, Justin, he'll never fucking listen. He'll never hear this. Well, see, that's the thing is he doesn't like our content, so he doesn't listen to the podcast. The, the only thing he, well, I think he just listens to enough of our voices. Like I didn't, like I didn't end a day of editing Game Grumps with Ah. You know what I'll do? 
I'll catch up on some game grumps. You didn't? <laughs> you didn't? That's what no. I did every day. <laughs> we, well, I did that every day. I went we home. Watched and- the, we watched the videos. We're the ones who edited this. We watched the videos all the way through. And we, the thing is, Wait. when we're editing them, we laugh with the funny moments, and Hold I don't on. need to go relive that shit. Yeah, but you watched your load of editing videos. I'd go home and watch all the ones you edited <laughs> to support you. Did you not watch all the ones I edited? I watched the videos you edited on Super Mega. Well, I'm not talking about Super Mega. I'm talking about Game Grumps Incorporated. I'd see some of your clips when we had to edit the best ofs. But no, you didn't go and watch the no. episodes. Some coins. Dude. Dude, remember that, that, that is, meme? That was, I think, my biggest fuck-up on Game Grumps. Oh, man, we fucked there, up so there, much. There were a lot of fuck-ups that we did. We used to fuck up a lot. But it was always like a... Like a the funny, funny thing is we almost... We never fuck up on Super Mega. Because we actually mm-hmm. put care and effort into it. But Game nope. Grumps, I, you know, we purposely were trying to sabotage so people would come watch Super Mega. No, it was always scheduling errors, you know. It'd be like... Some coins. A re- <laughs> Dude, the classic. There's a Wikipedia page for that. The Some Coins incident. Is there? No. Oh, that- a fucking Wikipedia page no, for when you messed ju- up I the titles. I could just imagine like someone on like one of their little fucking subreddits. Because <laughs> believe it's so crazy. They have... Multiple subreddits dedicated to like weird, like either conspiracy. Well, mo- both are very consp- conspiracy. Yeah, mainly just ranting, but but conspiracies. It's just uh, touch touch grass, <laughs> that type of thing. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to remember some of the biggest mistakes I made. If if you love something, sometimes it's best to let it go. So you enjoyed it for a while. You don't enjoy it anymore. Don't taint the memory. Just, just, and a lot of, and let, a, and a lot of people still enjoy it. So you know, it's like, and that's why, just why, why, why are you so bothered by it? It's not even specifically game rules. That's, that's just anything. Angry. Just, just why, why, why so much anger? Yeah, you, you, you are, you are, when you put yourself, when you get in these communities, you are you're su- choosing oh, sh- to surround yourself relax, with negativity. Relax, you, you, come on, I'll massage your shoulders. Go on. <sighs> You're choosing to surround yourself with negativity, and it really infects you. It's it. Hey, don't go on rant. Don't post on rant grumps tonight. Don't even visit. I won't. I won't. Don't even go. I won't. I'm sorry. No, I'm talking to the viewer. Oh, I thought you were talking. I'm well, I, I was planning on and... posting, but I won't now. Okay. Um. Hey. Hey. You know. Maybe you just you should just take the night to yourself. Watch a movie. You know that you're nostalgic about. Play a video game. Some cheese and wine, or maybe even just. Order some Taco Bell, and if you can't hey. do that, just chill and make a peanut butter and jelly, baby. Try, try a new hobby, you know? There's infinite hobbies. Peanut butter jelly with a glass of milk, doesn't that sound good? Mmm. I bet whoever's driving on their way home right now, make yourself a fucking peanut butter and jelly. Calm down. There are going to be people that listen to this, and the second they get home, they're going to make a fucking peanut butter and jelly. Because Send me your pictures of your we'll peanut butter and jelly. 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 If they look delicious, I'll probably like them. If you go, hey, Speaking look, of look, look at Barry wants to see them, too. Sandwich. Huh? Speaking of Gangrams, Barry would love to see those PB&Js, too. <laughs> yes. So. But also... Remember that you have to. He mainly only interacts with people on Twitter, so you have right. to go at him solely on Twitter and make sure he's some PB and J's. He he loves his favorite sandwich. We like surprising him though, so don't please don't mention that we sent you guys or or anything. Remember the peanut butter and sandwich cake we got him for his birthday he that one year. He loved it, dude. And and the fuck, dude. Oh my god, like. Barry, if he sees that we sent people to send pictures, then he'll be like, oh, that's nice. But if he thinks that the, that people just decided one day at their own free will to send him pictures of one of his favorite things, he would be ecstatic. So please exactly. go send Barry on Twitter. What is it? At Razzin? Don't at both of us. Don't don't, you don't know. at us. Don't mention Super Mega. Just go, just show, show your sandwiches. Yeah. You know? Don't, no, no tattling required here. Folks. It's going to be that one kid that's like, <laughs> yeah. but, you know. It's all right, you know. It's what it, there's, there's always trolls. You no know, to I just want tweets or like. I just want Barry to be happy. If he if he goes live on Twitch, respond with a PB and J to you know, cheer him on. Maybe just go into his chat and just say PB and J. No context, just say, and he'll be happy about that. And if a streamer you watch happens to have a PB and J emote and you're subscribed to them, look, by by golly, use it. I don't know anybody who has that, but if someone did, I'm sure it exists. I mean. If 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 maybe in a couple days your favorite streamers that have a podcast you listen to were to suddenly have an emote of a live action picture of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on their Twitch, that, you could sub to them and then you could you could go 
post it in Barry's chat. Yeah. As much as you want. We're going to have to go talk to the board about that one. Yeah, I'm sure. We're setting up our uh, super mega Twitch because we're starting to stream on our own. Yeah, let's talk about streaming. Guy. Go follow us on Twitch. We're, we're, we're MH Watson is Matt's. Eli Ryan McGee is Ryan's. Mm-hmm. He's got the uniform username on all social media. Amazing. I do have Matt H. Watson it's because on Twitch. It's such I lost like a it. jumble of a name. It's like whenever someone tries to say it for the first time, it's like Ellie Re- Ella. Re- yeah, I get it. I get it. I understand. I, I I I know what I did. It's not the best, but it's what I go. It's what it's what it is now. You can probably too, buy at Ryan McGee off someone. Too far. You know, uh, I, asked, I don't care. Well, I asked the guy uh, with the handle at Matt. Uh, just to see. Just to see. I was like, hey, man, like, I, I don't think he really tweeted that much. I was like, hey, would you ever like. A few million. I said, would you ever consider, you know, like selling this? Yeah. How much was it? Because I thought it'd be really cool to just get at Matt. And, you know, I, I'd give him a little bit of money for it. Not like a crazy amount because it's just a Twitter. Yeah, what did he ask for? Uh, he goes, <laughs> considering I've turned down offers of $20,000, it would have to be pretty good. And then I didn't respond. Just like the guy who owns MattWatson.com asked for uh, a minimum of a million dollars. And I was like, are you, are you inept? Hey, one day there'll be a, a, a millionaire Matt Watson. Doesn't exist right now. No. Maybe one day. Wait, wait, wait the fisherman. No, no way, no, no, no. <sighs> Matt Watson, the extreme fisherman, and Matt Watson from Carwell. The journalist, Matt Watson. Couple Matt Watson journalists. There's Matt Watson from Carwell. Mm-hmm. He's pretty popular on YouTube. Yep. He's, he's a he's a car channel. Good. Uh, then there's there's uh, Matt Watson, who was a, a vlogger that dated a a bigger YouTube girl, and uh, he's the one that famous birthdays mixed up my information with his. Okay. So on my famous birthdays page, it has stuff about my daughter. And how I sp- I do Spanish lesson vlogs, uh, and how I was born in the UK in the eighties, um, and how I dated a, a a famous YouTuber. Okay, that's that's cute. But the thing was, they made a slideshow video for the page with this information. So it's like music and it's pictures of me with like music playing with these facts like in text on screen. So I don't think they ever fixed it, but I, I like it that way. So I love that the only other Ryan McGee's the fucking. The Euro, Euro millions dude that fucking wasn't he Russian? I think he was British or whatever. Eddie, Eddie, he won the Euro millions jackpot and then like crashed like three Lamborghinis <laughs> and went to jail and lost all the money. I just love all the pictures. You search Ryan McGee, was like just that like goofy looking British dude with the, the big the check. Big check. <laughs> and then like immediately, like the next picture is just like a completely destroyed Lamborghini, <laughs> like on the yeah. side of a road in a ditch. Uh, uh props <laughs> to you, Ryan McGee. Yeah, shout out Ryan McGee. And Matt Watson from Carwell, and yeah. Matt Watson, extreme fisherman. And uh, there's actually a dentist in my hometown named Matt Watson. Dennis the Menist. I didn't go to him though. Dennis the Menist. Yeah. Dennis the Menist. Yeah. I don't like penis the Menist. Meninist. <laughs> Dennis the Meninist. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, man. That's good. That's Thanks, man. that's. I would read that comic strip. In the, in the <laughs> That is great, dude. I would read that comic strip. Fucking Dennis the Meninist. That is good. <laughs> genius, man. Thanks, man. Fucking genius. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here, you know, creating fucking brain babies for hey, our man. company. You are, you know, we might have to, you know, you, you might have to make a shirt now that mm-hmm. is a Dennis the Menist shirt, but it's Dennis the Meninist. Which if a- you buy one, one McGee coin, it, you can get. A free T-shirt. Well, it's well, it's not a free T-shirt if you're buying the McGee coin for it, but the McGee coin price does fluctuate but the quite McGee a bit. McGee coin has nothing to do with the T-shirt. Oh, oh, okay. But if you so happen to buy McGee, hey, coin, McGee, actually, you get a free T-shirt. Right now is a pretty good week to buy McGee coins. So the crypto market crashed. It's it is it is abysmal. So while McGee coin is low, I would say it's a good oh, time please, to please everyone scoop it up. go buy some McGee coin. I really, I would really appreciate it. it Honestly, really yeah. in the world for real. Um. We've been in talks with Twitch, seeing if they can integrate McGee Coin, yeah, uh, into its API and shit. Just, so it's like, just replace the whole bit cent- uh, thing entirely. With, no more with bits, McGee Coin. Just yeah. McGee Coin. Just McGee Coin. You uh, were you were get, you were cheered some McGee Coins. Exactly. Now, is it McGee Coins or is it is it McGee Coin? McGee Coins plural. McGee Coin it, as it, as a general is like the brand. Because you know you don't you don't re- say Bitcoins. You say Bitcoin. I know, but like the, that's what re- that's how it di- different. That's how I'm different. You know. 
That, yeah, right. Okay, McGee coins. Yeah, yeah. I you mean, can you, you can give some McGee coins, but you're but you're using McGee coin. Man, this week my McGee po- uh, coin portfolio is not doing too hot. It's it's down like thirty percent. But that just means oh, just, just wait till after the buy podcast the dip. drops. Just wait till after the podcast drops. That's what they say. They say buy the dip. See, when you're an investor and you see the market crash, never get upset. It just means it's an opportunity to buy more. <laughs> exactly, baby. Then when it goes up, you're beautiful. And it'll go back up. It always goes. It up. always goes back up. What goes up must come down, but what goes down must go right back up. Exactly, exactly. Except in physics, but definitely McGee coin does. Yes, one hundred percent. And uh, with that, uh, I I hope all of you have a great week. We'll see you next week for episode two hundred eighty-two. Yeah, that's a palindrome episode. Th- and I hope watching. I hope that everybody uh, gets gets their their fucking. Crypto wallets full of McGee coin. Yep. Uh, please. Because it's it's going straight to the moon. Yeah. You know? A thanks little, for th- thanks for that, by the way. A little dude. of course. Thanks uh, for supporting McGee oh, coin. Dude, I'm part of it R really slash McGee. It, it really does mean a lot, like honestly. Oh, I've been talking to people on R slash McGee coin about like strategies and Okay, good. Good. You know, but uh I bet Elon has some. Most, I don't know. I haven't heard from him in a bit. He's still in he's the been busy. Yeah. It's the whole the rocket shit, and then not even the rocket shit that keeps him busy. It's more the fucking the court things he's doing right now with the the whole school zone thing. That you yeah. know. Well, there's that, and then there's the there's the whole lawsuit against the pharmaceutical companies, but only because they they have they they won't allow him to put his penis in larger serum into the market, which I disagree with because oh, I'm I'm all for that it works we, he let us try it it works it's safe but uh I got I got a swollen fucking hog now it's it's all pink and shiny and swollen and it's like thank bye you.